So the only issue they have, the only issue they think they have is on abortion. And now all I say is the states are handling it, and it's totally killed that issue. We'll take care of everything. We're going to make our country great again. There are two terrifying aspects to Trump's dramatic cognitive decline, a real and dangerous decline. Most people are about right here, right? But as you get older, you drift down to here. Trump, though, however, started about here, and now he's somewhere right like here, down here. Uh, I did it, and Israel, therefore, became the capital. Then it was a big thing, and uh, on Monday, I called back the biggest leaders in the whole world, richest leaders, biggest leaders. I said, uh, hi, what's up? The first terrifying thing about Trump's mental fog is he's panicking. When seniors get dementia, they generally respond in one of two ways. Some have peace and display kindness, despite the fact they're confused and drifting. Not Trump. He was always an evil prick, but his mental decline has exacerbated his anger and delusionment. They are so bad on the border, on the economy, on energy, everything. We were energy independent. He tweets relentlessly, his all caps attack on anyone who has said or did something that works against him. Or he stands in front of the camera with his spray tan and crazy hair, looking like a stray homeless person who pieced together a suit from a dumpster. Fighting Roe v. Wade was right from the beginning all about bringing the issue back to the states, pursuant to the Tenth Amendment and states' rights. Does anyone for a second believe Trump knows what's in the Tenth Amendment? I mean, come on. Does this guy strike you as a guy who stays up late at night reading the Federalist Papers? And of course, bringing it back to the states is what happened in Arizona. The state gave life to a law from the Civil War that bans all abortions and sets jail terms. That's what happens when states with old white people are given control over women. Every legal scholar, everybody from both sides said, you have to get it out of the federal government. You have to bring it back to the states. Every legal scholar? Like who? Judge Jeannie? This is crazy town. Lindsey Graham, senator, started saying, no, let's go back to the federal government with zero weeks. And when they got nowhere, they upped it to six weeks. And they got nowhere again, and they recently upped it to 15 weeks and we're obviously willing to take the number upward, upward, upward. Wow, does that sound like a person you want driving your kid's school bus, much less somebody with access to nuclear codes? And why is he talking about Lindsey Graham, a U.S. senator, when the states will have all the power? He's deranged, truly, dangerously ill. The Democrats will never give up on this issue, no matter how many Republicans want and ask and are willing to give everything. You could give unlimited abortion and the Democrats would find a reason not to do it because they don't love our country. They don't want to solve a very difficult problem. But we did. It's called states' rights, and the states are working feverishly to get it all resolved. Someone is feeding him talking points, and he has no idea what they mean. Hi, what's up? I'd have better luck teaching my dog algebra than explaining states' rights to this mope. For the record, states' rights go back to southern states defending slavery. States like Alabama and Mississippi claiming independence from federal authority, but of course taking federal dollars to clean their water, build their roads, and all those other socialist benefits. 53 years it went, and we did something that nobody thought. We brought it back to the states where it belongs and where everyone wanted it. The states will be making the decision. Republicans are now free to run for office based on the Horrible border, inflation, bad economy, the death and destruction. Death and destruction? Does that sound like a sane man? Death, death and, and destruction. destruction. That dude is nuts. Yeah, I will do my part to protect AM radio in our cars, you know? We like to listen to AM radio. Trump's paranoia is on full display, as is his referencing people who don't exist. For purposes of election interference, considered illegal. I believe, as do various highly respected legal scholars. Great legal scholars like who? This guy? <laughs> that crooked Joe Biden has long since crossed over that very sacred threshold. He is a criminal. He is a horrible president. He's the worst president in the history of our country. And the only way he thinks he can get elected is to take me to trials, take me to courts, city, state, and federal. They control them all. And that brings me to the second most frightening thing about Trump's mental collapse. We've become used to it. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land. In this case, the law of the state. 
I don't mean MAGA or the GOP in Congress. They're lost inside a cauldron of hate and fear. They're all unfixable and dangerous, and I wouldn't blink if they got E. coli eating bad bacon at an Arkansas Denny's. Good riddance. No, it's the rest of the country that has me worried. It's just out the crooked Joe Biden, the worst and most corrupt president in the history of the United States by far, is leading the weaponization of government against his political opponent, me. Crooked Joe is a threat to democracy. We cannot let him continue in office. All of this weaponization and lawfare that you're watching, all of these lawsuits against me. He has no idea what he's saying. I mean, there's no reference to the law or legal precedents. And those indictments, they're from juries of U.S. citizens that I'm sure Trump would say are in on it. And the Georgia indictments have nothing to do with the Department of Justice. But how many years have we been listening to Donnie Indictable, Indictable, lie about anything and everything? As I watch NBC, ABC, and CBS cover Trump, you'd think this was a normal election cycle. I heard NBC report on Trump's flip-flop regarding a federal abortion ban. They acted like it was a normal human being speaking. Donald Trump now says he believes it should be up to the states to decide their stances on abortion rights. Not a man who tried to overthrow the government and has promised to assist Putin. If we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, no, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. He is out of his mind and every single person from former Secretary of Defense Espers to General Milley agree. If Trump somehow regains power, our democracy has a 50-50 chance at best. If you don't like our religion, then we don't want you in our country. So what am I trying to say? Well, he's insane. So everything is on the table. Out of power, he's an annoying racist. You know, the kind of old white guy you find drinking coffee at a Cracker Barrel in suburban Atlanta, talking about the gays and coloreds. But in the White House, he will have federal judges like Cannon and at least five Federalist Mopes and SCOTUS who for some reason believe in his power to violate not just the letter of the Constitution, but a complete assault on its true intent. Here's what will happen. If Trump is elected, he'll drop all charges against himself and arrest Biden. I don't mean indict. I mean, he will perp walk him and then get started. You think Jamie Raskin or Eric Swalwell will be allowed to attack Trump? And how will he convince the rest of America? Well, he'll nationalize Christianity in exchange for the suspension of the first, fourth, and 14th amendments. And then he'll never leave. President for life, that sounds good. Now, if you want to really drive him crazy, you say 12 more years. <laughs> Time for Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, and I to debate. Will you Who shut is up, man? Listen. Hi, what's up? Look, Trump is insane, but if we allow him to proceed, what does that say about us? Time to pack it up. Who's with me? This isn't their Republican Party anymore. Am I wrong? Damn right. Yes. Tick tock. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> Follow, like, and please subscribe to Really American, where we keep you up to date on the latest Republican cult lie in this very important year. Hey, and make sure you join us as a member on Patreon, where we can connect directly with you and enable us to expand, make more videos, and hire more hosts. Can't do it without you. For Really American, I think he's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin.